So we've got our city water hooked up to the RV. And as you can see, water pouring out of our fresh water tank. This should not be happening. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be talking about the problem we had with our RV water pump and more specifically, the check valve or the backflow valve in our RV water pump. If this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of YouTube videos all about RVing and we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and join the RV Blogger community. We also have a website called rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds and hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. So last year we started having a problem with our water pump and uh, we were camping at a campground. We had full hookups. We hooked up to the city water. Next thing you know, our fresh water tank is full of water and water squirting out the side of the RV. So we knew something was wrong and the water was bypassing our water pump and filling the tank. So we decided we needed to empty the tank. So we turned on the water pump, turned on all the faucets in the RV to try to drain the tank down. but. At some point we turned off the water, but the water pump kept running anyway and started pulsing. And that's when we really knew we had a problem. And so now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the water pump. And you can hear it pressurize. Now it's finished pressurizing. And now it's starting again. That's not good. And there it goes again. So I took apart the whole dinette, got to the water pump, tried to find out if there was some other check valve that I could take a look at and try to repair, um, pulled out the water pump, uh, tried to fool around with that and fix it, but that did not work. Now, while all this was going on, our neighbors in the next campsite saw that we were trying to fix the water pump. They came over to see what was going on. Very nice couple of guys. And uh, they actually got a water pump for us and, and let us have it, really. And so I tried to install that water pump, but that one really did not work either. Does my hair look okay? <laughs> you look fabulous. <laughs> All right, well, it's kind of been a long day. And we tried putting in the pump that our friends next door gave us, but unfortunately it did not solve the problem. We're going to return this to our friends next door. I bought them a case of cores as a thank you, so I'm sure they'll be happy with that. But again, it's just nice when, when neighbors can try to help each other out and uh, you know, be there for each other. These guys, had, these guys had to drive 20 minutes away. Um, to go back to one of the guys' houses to get this pump for us. So it was really, really nice of them to do that. Uh, so we're very, very appreciative. And I fidgeted around with ours a little bit more. I tried to take the pump head off to see if I could somehow reset the check valve. I think I got lucky because when I put it all back together, it worked, which was great. But now here it is five months later and we're having the same exact problem all over again. And so we decided now we're just gonna go ahead and replace the water pump. So we went ahead, we had a flow jet in there originally, and you know, we weren't really happy with it the whole time we had it anyway. It was very loud, um, extremely loud. And so we went ahead and got a sure, a sure flow revolution. Um, I'll put a link in the notes down below for it, but we researched it. It's an ultra quiet um, water pump that puts out about three gallons a minute. It operates at 55 PSI. We thought that would be fine for our RV. And uh, so we went ahead and bought that. And now we're gonna install that now. Okay, so now we have to take apart the dinette so that we can get to where the water pump is because it's located underneath the dinette bench. So let's get started disassembling the dinette now. You notice how lightweight the dinette table is have to check out our video where we replaced our dinette table with a much, much lighter version. It's been so much easier anytime I have to turn the dinette into a bed or take it apart if I have to get to the water heater, the water tank, or the water pump. All 
All right, now we got the dinette disassembled and we can go ahead and remove the flow jet pump and install our brand new SureFlow water pump. See how easy that was? Okay, so now that I have the uh, pump taken out, which really is easy to do, you just unscrew these these two fittings from either side of the pump. Now I'm just taking apart the electric wires, so when I put the new pump in, I can wire it right back up. It's really, really easy and straightforward. This one is going to be a problem. Okay, so that was really it. It was very, very simple. The hardest part was taking this clamp and just reversing it because the nut was in the way of this fitting being able to spin. So I just undid it, took it off and flipped it around. So now it's on the other side. But other than that, these things are really a breeze to replace. I went outside and turned on the water and it looks like everything's fine, no leaks. And uh, we'll test it out a little bit more. I'm gonna fill the tank up with a little bit of water, run the pump, make sure we don't have any leaks and then we should be good to go. The only thing I need to do at this point since I just did my initial water check and there's no leaks is now I can hook up the electricity and then we can actually run the pump and make sure we're still leak free as well. I'm sure for all you electricians out there, you're probably going crazy right now, but I don't have any wire nuts. So I'm just <laughs> doing the best I can with my electrical tape. All right, so we added a few inches of water into the water tank so we can go ahead and turn on the pump and see how that works. And uh, see how quiet it is too. We bought the ultra quiet model, so we're hoping it's ultra quiet and it is that is ultra quiet way quieter than our old one we still working hard now Okay, so it sounded a little rough at first and, and uh, that's because there was air in the lines and so we went to each faucet and the shower in our RV. We only have two sinks and a shower. Turned them all on, got all the air out of the lines and then it was running like a champ. So we're in good shape. Uh, it's got no leaks. Uh, it's running just fine. Our water pressure is fantastic with it. And best of all, it's much quieter than our old water pump. So we're super excited about that. Our old water pump was so loud that, I mean, you could be outside pretty far away from the RV and you would hear that thing run. So, um, so we're very happy to have a quiet one this time around. Uh, so anyway, we're at the point now where I can go ahead, screw the pump back down to the floor, and then we can put the dinette back together and we are back in business. All right, so we got our new water pump installed. The water's running great awesome water pressure and best of all do you hear that that's the sound of a really quiet water pump and we are happy about that let me tell you so anyway we hope you enjoyed our video we hope you enjoyed our check valve and speaking of check valves if you'd like to check out some of our other videos just click one of these right here and always remember when you click on one of our videos please subscribe we really enjoy having everybody on board uh, and when you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we put out a new video. So for Mike and Susan, we'll see you next time.